How's it going everyone? Got quite a lot to cover today in the deals front. Yes, the Black Friday craziness has already begun. I feel like every year it's getting earlier and earlier, but Best Buy has some select deals available right now. Now with Black Friday, obviously while we cover gaming and PlayStation games in particular on this channel, um, when it comes to stuff like Black Friday, Prime Day, it's really an opportunity to pick up anything, whether it be televisions, toasters, vacuum cleaners, um, dishwashers, air fryers. I highly recommend the Kasori air fryer. Um, but yeah, obviously, we're gonna primarily cover the gaming stuff, but have a gander at everything else. So we'll go over that briefly. Got some great deals to go over. A fantastic deal on Star Wars Jedi Survivor. By far the best price I've seen for it thus far. So we'll cover that. And GameStop, once again, still running some fantastic deals. So we'll cover that at the end of this video. But first of all, Yes, Black Friday has a plethora of early Black Friday deals. Also, My Best Buy Plus and My Best Buy Total members get more Black Friday deals. That is their gimmick subscription service. Uh, it's like $50 a year. Uh, they actually have some good deals that are attached to that, and you usually make your money back um, just taking advantage of the deals. So right off the top, like the deals we're primarily seeing here are on stuff like televisions. If you're looking to get a TV... They've got the LG 48-inch uh, A2 Series OLED 4K TV for $550. I feel like that's pretty good. The Samsung 75-inch uh, Ultra HD 4K is $580. Samsung 65-inch Class uh, Neo QLED 4K, that's a smart TV. That is $1,700. Obviously, all that stuff is a little bit on the price size, but a uh, pricier side, but it's a damn television. So, uh, what can you do as far as that's concerned? They've got deals on various controllers, um, you know, various games here and there, but nothing too insane as far as the gaming side goes. They do have the WD Black 2 terabyte internal SSD uh, that's compatible for PlayStation 5, officially licensed. That's $180, not a bad deal there if you're looking to uh, expand your storage a little bit. But um, yeah. Yeah, a lot of these deals are going to be primarily on stuff like laptops are very much discounted. What else we got? A soundbar from Samsung is discounted. Uh, and you've got like smaller gaming deals that I probably wouldn't take advantage of yet. Um, like again, what we're seeing here is a lot of televisions. We have a laser projector. I'm sure you guys are looking to cop those as well. Uh, the, uh, the Xbox Series X, the Diablo 4 bundles down to $500. I feel like that's pretty good. I feel like that's okay, I should say, because that's essentially a Series X with a free copy of Diablo 4. Um, you know, Diablo 4 has kind of lost its value at this point, but uh, what can you do as far as that's concerned? These things do happen. Uh, they do have a section save up to 66% on select of video games. Uh, Madden 24 is 42.49. I know football season just started, so or it didn't just start. It's been going on for a little while now, but people are enjoying their football, and you can get the gaming version of football for 42.50. GTA 5 on PS5 is 20 bucks. Dead Space on PS5 is $40. I feel like Dead Space has to be cheaper somewhere. Like, I would not be shocked if Dead Space is gonna be $25 and you'll be able to get it shipped from Amazon. Like, I do not... I would not find that surprising. I mean, hell, Dead Space is available on EA Access right now. You could sign up for five bucks and play the entirety of Dead Space in a month. Like, it's not going to take you a month to beat Dead Space. Come on now. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 is $19.99. Maybe that fabled upgrade will come at some point. Uh, Octopath Traveler 2 is $39.99. Wild Hearts is $29.99. That's actually one of the better deals that I've seen. 30 bucks for Wild Hearts is really good. Dying Light 2 is $25. I mean, that's a pretty good deal. That'll get you the free upgrade to the PS5 version. I... I want to say and I hope that that game is going to be 15 bucks at Black Friday just because, you know, they're selling a lot of DLC and whatnot. So, like, why not just put that game on a deeper discount? But, yeah, very limited as far as the gaming deals go. But some stand out, Wild Hearts um, and Dying Light 2, certainly. Uh, Wild Hearts is an EA title, another EA game. Target has got Star Wars Jedi Survivor 50% off for 35 bucks. Holy hell, what a deal for Jedi Survivor this is. As you guys might know, this is one of my favorite games of the year. I thought it was fantastic. I think this game is a significant improvement upon Jedi Fallen Order. And not only that, they just released a performance patch update. Well, it's been out for a little bit, but it's fantastic. Uh, for the little bit that I played on PS5, and, um, you know, I primarily played the game on PC. I completed it twice on PC. And, uh, you know, what I played on PlayStation 5 after the patch came out ran really well. I got up to Kobo and is running really well over there as well. So that was great to see. That's for the performance mode. If you're okay with 30 FPS, obviously the quality mode looks great. A lot of content in this one. Um, especially in comparison to Jedi Fallen Order. Like, this game has been expanded upon greatly from Fallen Order. And, uh, yeah, you've got a ton of stuff to do. And if you go for the 100%, 
It's a sizable undertaking, you know, like a 40-hour game and uh, New Game Plus is there, and it's actually worthwhile to go through with some of the stuff that uh, you get at the end. But 35 bucks for Jedi Survivor, I think it's a great price, and I would strongly recommend it. And again, I'm not a Star Wars fan. At least, you know, I I'm a fringe Star Wars fan. Prior to Jedi Fallen Order, like, uh, the only movie I watched was Rogue One, and I literally fell asleep in the theater uh, watching Rogue One. That is not a joke. That happened back in, I think it was fall of 2016, end of 2016 when that movie came out. Um... Yeah, that legitimately happened. So, like, that's my fandom of Star Wars. But Jedi Fallen Order drew me in, and Jedi Survivor, uh, I thought, was a fantastic game. And Cal's an awesome character, so definitely check that out. Moving on from that, want to note that GameStop is still running their used game sale, where it's four games for $20 pre-owned. This includes titles like Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, God of War 2018, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019, Scarlet Nexus is there. Remember, essentially, you're getting each of these games for $5. Infinite Warfare, Final Fantasy 15. 15, Batman Arkham Knight, Borderlands 3, Watch Dogs Legion, Immortals Phoenix Rising, Resident Evil 7, Biohazard, those titles for essentially 5 bucks a pop is great, Control is on there, that's the base game unfortunately, uh, Monster Hunter World, uh, Sh uh, Shin Megami Tensei 3, Nocturne, like 5 bucks for that is ridiculous, Immortals Phoenix Rising, again I, I mentioned that already, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, which had its price appreciated, that's the standard edition, but still Neo 2, which gets you an upgrade, Far Cry Primal, Marvel's Avengers, which did get pulled from the PlayStation, Store, Kingdom of Vomitable Re-Reckoning, which is pretty good, um, you know, Sword Art Online, Lost Song, if you guys want to check that out, and, uh, yeah, there's definitely some stuff to check out, uh, in this 4 for $20 sale, pre-owned games, Risk of Rain 2, another good one, Horizon Zero Dawn, if you're one of the three people that don't own that, My Hero One's Justice, and then they do also have a 4 for 40, that includes stuff like COD Vanguard, Cyberpunk 2077 is on there, so essentially, it's like 10 bucks a pop, you can get Cyberpunk 2077 for 10 bucks which is insane given that that game has also been wanted a little bit more after update 2.0 after phantom liberty drops so 10 bucks for that is insane resident evil village yeah 10 bucks for re village that's insane neo the world ends with you 10 bucks on that stranger of paradise final fantasy origins as ridiculous as that as that game's narrative was uh 10 bucks for it is great near replicant 10 dollars for that is excellent plague tale innocence Far Cry 6, Digimon Survive, like 10 bucks for Digimon Survive is insane, I thought that game was pretty good. Soul Hackers 2 is on there, that's awesome, Assassin's Creed 4, Spiral Reignited Trilogy, Nier Automata, Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Resident Evil 2, Sword Art Online, Alicization, um, that's $14.99, uh, that would be 10 bucks essentially with the deal, uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is available on there, just a ton of good stuff on this tier, if you're, um, the 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim, you guys know, that game is ridiculously awesome, like, definitely check that out, Sleeping Dogs Definitive, Wipeout Omega Collection, and I can go on and on. There's a lot of great stuff here, so certainly uh, check out this sale. And then lastly, I do want to know, they've still got their wild clearance offerings with stuff like Tales of Arise for 5 bucks, Callisto Protocol for 5 bucks, Forspoken for $17.50, Scarlet Nexus for 5 bucks, um, Neo The World Ends With You, a new copy for $10, Persona 5 Royal for 15 bucks, which is just ridiculous. Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin is, uh, Origins is $5. Now, their the shipping is... Uh, super expensive, but if you spend 79 bucks, you get free shipping, so maybe something worthwhile to check out there, and they've got Dying Light 2 Stay Human Deluxe Edition for 20 bucks, like, come on, man, like, Best Buy's got the Standard Edition for 25, so that's quite good, Lost Judgment on Series X is 15, um, yeah, just a ton of good stuff across the board there, so check that out as well, but check out the pre-owned uh, deals on GameStop as well, but that's gonna do it for me, again, uh, Best Buy is rolling out early Black Friday deals, stuff like televisions and whatnot, if you're into that, uh, if you're looking for something new, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, 35 bucks at Target is ridiculous. Again, one of the best games of the year. I highly recommend it and a lot of good stuff over at GameStop. That's going to do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. And as always, thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.